morning guys so uh here we are again it's saturday morning and i suppose the first thing to do is just to show you what we've done since the last time we've spoke and as you can see we've put some edging around this bed it was upsetting my wife just how it didn't look very tidy so we put some edging around it and you can see we've got all our seedlings in or at least a good dose of seedlings which are doing okay and in the polytunnel up here we've got our tomatoes cucumbers and some peppers they're all doing really well and as you'll probably know the plan for this top end of the bed where this polytunnel frame is is we're going to net this we're going to do that today that's our first job uh, because in here we've got all of our brassicas and a couple of tomato plants that didn't fit in the polytunnel it's quite early it's about half past eight so you'll see this bed is still in partial shade but that's going to change in the next little while as the sun just moves across and uh, over this fence and then this will be in full sun then pretty much the rest of the day till late well early evening we've still got plans to do our fence and everything free up all that space but that's not going to be for a few weeks and i'll be honest we haven't really got a huge lot planned this weekend we're just going to recharge our batteries a little bit we're going to like i say we're going to put that fencing on and then just tinker just have a a really relaxed weekend i think we might plant some seeds ready for succession crops and uh maybe even you know establish a herb a herb garden we've we've got a few herbs going already we picked up some basil at the garden center we've also got our chives some other things mint lovage rosemary all growing in these pots a lot of that we brought from the last place down here look as well so a lot of that we brought from the last place, but we don't have our herb spiral. We haven't transplanted that. So that's going to have to take up some space here. Not a, not a herb spiral at this stage anyway. We're going to go for just pots, I think, on the patio here. But yeah, there's some more herbs to get in. And uh, yeah, just some, some general enjoying this space. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a shirt, it's not, as has been suggested, because I now live in a conurbation and I'm scared that people are going to see me. <laughs> it's just because most of my clothes are still in storage <laughs> it's a little bit chilly still uh this early to be out here in a t-shirt so uh yeah i'm just i'm waiting still to get all the rest of my clothes unpacked we've got back here we've got two compost bins which are full of compost we needed to put the spare compost that we brought on that second trailer somewhere so they're in there so we can use that for filling our pots and things so this weekend, like I say, is a little bit in limbo. Who knows what we're going to get up to, but we've got loads of plans still. I mean, there's, so we've got a load of climbers along this fence. So I need to put some brackets on the fence and then run some bamboo or pea sticks or something that way to then allow the climbers to get up to them. Um, and then probably something that way as well. Maybe some string. Don't know. Like I say, a lot of these things we don't know yet. We're just going to play around and do them as we go. I also, I want to build two chicken arcs because the housing that we've got our chickens in at the moment these guys here and the pekins at the front is just not really practical um, because of the positions that they're in and we're always tight up against fences and stuff it's really tricky for my wife to get in there we've got some pigeons living in this holly and some more pigeons living in that fur there so we really are quite keen to get our and look here we go here's a cabbage white so we're really keen to get this brassica netting up today that's going to be our first job So I'm really happy with that. It didn't take too long at all. One of the main differences between here and the last place, we can't afford to lose some, as much to pests because we don't have the space. So this is something I never had to worry about really before or didn't worry about, but that should keep all of our brassicas pest free. And all I've done, I've just drilled some holes through the frame here and put a screw, one screw into the top of each of these pieces of wood. And then on the inside, 
I've put a load of screws up the timber and just slid the netting onto them and that's held, holding it in place. A few zip ties elsewhere and that's it. We need to come through the bottom with some tent pegs, which I've got a load of in the lockup. And we still need to put the big timber along the back there to stop the slippage, stop the compost going up against the fence. And I think that coupled with just a trickle of compost around the outside, that will seal up the bottom. Really happy. So we've just put that bit of timber on that far edge and then we've just pushed some of the compost up against it so you can see so that's now trapping the net in place in between and it's also going to protect that fence from our compost gradually sliding into it so we'll do that along the rest of the bed eventually and we don't have any more timber to do that but when we replace some of this fencing i can use the four by four posts that come out to do the rest of that length so I'm really happy with that, really happy with that. If I don't get anything else done today, that's still a job, you know, a, a bit of progress. So since before we've moved in, I was on a, I've been on a hell of a streak. I've done something on the house to improve the house or repair something or, you know, get the garden running. I've done something every single day until Thursday. Thursday, we had to go and watch a football match. It was one of our friend's kids were playing in a final. So we went out for the evening after work. So. We didn't get anything done Thursday. And Friday, we had a birthday tea here where we had some of our family over and uh, it was my son's birthday, or it will be my son's birthday on Sunday when this gets released. So Thursday and Friday didn't do anything, but up until then I'd been on a run of nearly four weeks where there wasn't a day when I hadn't done something to you know, work on the house, move forward, whatever that might be, whether it was planting our seedlings or whether it was repairing a shower, repairing the toilet. I've done loads of sort of DIY stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, it, we're really happy to be here and it's, you know, it's going really well. <laughs> we're still learning a lot we're from the smaller space. Like I said, I've never had to worry too much about pest pressure because we could just compensate by growing five times the amount of what we wanted. Anyway, we're definitely focusing on really getting all of our crops to fruit, you know, to, to, to harvest this year. So we've got lots more work to do out in the garden and... Um, Anyway, that's where we are at the moment. So it's almost lunchtime now and uh, we're gonna go out and do a bit of shopping. We need to buy things like a washing line and some curtains. So we're gonna go out and do a bit of shopping and then hopefully this afternoon I might get around to planting some seeds, but uh, I'm very relaxed. We'll do what we can and see where the day takes us because you know this period of sort of two or three days, I've kind of earmarked as a bit of rest and recuperation, which we've all needed and uh, so far so good. I feel really good. <laughs> so, uh, and, and because of that, I feel like doing things. So we're gonna end up doing stuff. So we're back from our shopping trip and look what a glorious day it's turned into. One of the things I've noticed living here is there's so much more bird song as well. Not right this minute necessarily, but when, you, when we woke up this morning, it's just so much more bird song. So a couple of the things that we got on our shopping trip was some more herbs. My wife has very kindly offered to pot up for me into bigger pots. Thank you, my love. For now, we've just been chatting about it and we're just going to add some extra pots into this space here. And I think this will be enough for this year. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Everything's subject to change. Until we get this massive hedge gone and reorganise all this side of the garden with our new fencing, it's difficult to kind of know what we'll want. But for now... We're okay, we're okay with what we've got. We'll need some more bed. At some point, we'll need some more vegetable bed. This isn't quite enough because we haven't got a single potato in. And that's not gonna please my wife, is it, love? <laughs> so, you know, ideally I'd like to grow potatoes somewhere else, off site, um, in an allotment or in our own field, depending on how things go. So, you know, like I keep saying, it's just a kind of, not limbo, but we're just taking each day as it comes. and and enjoying it so that's where we are and uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day and I actually need to go out again because I've got to go to an appointment for work but then I'm going to be spending the rest of the day in this space because I need to do my water kefir 
my milk kefir. I need to start a new sourdough starter that I'm gonna be making from scratch because the last one didn't survive the move. So no sourdough this week, but we're gonna start making sourdough again next weekend. I've got a load of pork that I want to cure. I want to take it out of the freezer and cure. Um, and I'm gonna be making a roast dinner tomorrow. I've got one of our chickens in the freezer. So, well, not in the freezer, in the fridge now, defrosting. We're gonna cook that overnight in the slow cooker. Um, 101 different things. I'm gonna be kitcheny stuff the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, just a shorter video than usual. But hopefully it's got you caught up and I'm gonna start filming earlier this week and I'm gonna start filming some of those kitchen projects that I'm gonna be doing this week. Loads and loads of new stuff, different stuff, exciting stuff, fun stuff. And uh, I'll put that out either next weekend or perhaps an intermediate video this week if I get time. That's gonna wrap me up so I'll come back out into this glorious weather. Say thank you ever so much for watching. Please make sure you press that like button, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Cheers, guys. Speak to you soon.